Yep, it's Merindani, and here with me today is my baby. All right, today we are going to do an everyday natural-ish type of makeup look. The I'm not wearing makeup makeup look. Let's call it that. And while I do that, I'm also going to tell you about some conspiracy theories that turn out to be true because I think that's interesting as fuck. I've already done my um, base, like my moisturizers and all of that jazz. Are you going to sit there? You're going to just sit there. Okay, puppy. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to start with is Mecca Max BB Cream off Judy. And it's in one of the colors. Oat. I'm just going to use my hands today. Oh. Don't lick it. I picked this colour on the website, just at a guess, and it matches pretty fucking good, eh? This cap, this bottle, I don't know if you'll notice, but I have changed my background as well, just to make it a little bit clearer. I don't know if, you know, that made a difference at all. If it did, and you are somebody who's watched my videos before, can you please let me know what you think of the new background? you're looking at me for anyway so what we're gonna do now just because my face is super shiny after i put that bb cream on i'm just gonna put my hair back a little bit oh god it's not a hot look anyway and i'm just gonna put some of the Too faced translucent powder on it on my face to make it a bit more matte i'm just gonna dab everywhere okay so let's talk conspiracy theories so the other night i was with my friends just a couple of them because in australia they have eased some of the restrictions yay but also like let's hope we don't get the rona anyways because they've done that um we got to have a birthday dinner with a couple of friends the other night anyway when we were chatting we started talking about conspiracy theories that have been pr proven true so today I'm going to read you some of the ones that we found because I was like, what the fuck? Okay, next I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm going to do it with the hourglass um, eyebrow pen pencil thing. The first one is called the project, um, the horror of project sunshine. Sorry. Now this one comes from Hiroshima. Um, the wake, in the wake of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, the US government commenced a major study to measure the effects of nuclear fallout on the human body. Now, the conspiracy is that the government was stealing dead bodies um, to do radioactive testing. I know, gross, right? Um, they were stealing dead bodies to do radioactive testing. And it turned out that that was true. They were doing that because they needed young tissue um, they recruited a whole worldwide network of agents to find recently deceased babies and children and take samples and sometimes even limbs, limbs, a whole arm or something, um, and do tests to do testing on it. And the, none of the permission like was given from any of the parents or anything like that. Like nobody knew they just did it. Ugh. But anyway, I guess, I guess that's how they learn about stuff. Hey. Or another one, um, the conspiracy is that during the prohibition 
in America, the government poisoned alcohol to keep people from drinking it. Which, I mean, alcohol is kind of its own poison, sir. But anyway, um, so it turned out manufacturers of industrial act, 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 the industrial alcohol had been mixing, um, mixing their product with dangerous chemicals for years before that anyway. So like, like I just said, it's already got shit in it. But um, between 1926 and 1933, the federal government pushed manufacturers to use stronger poisons to discourage bootleggers from turning alcohol into moonshine. So that's pretty fucked up. Like they can ban alcohol, but not guns. The next one I am all for. I think they covered this up because they were like, women can't do shit. The conspiracy is that a in, in the US, a stroke rendered President Woodrow Wilson incapable of governing and his wife super, super, his wife stepped in. Anyway, the truth is that Wilson did suffer a debilitating stroke towards the end of his presidency, but the government felt it was the country's best interest to keep it quiet. <laughs> That's interesting. Um, the public didn't learn about the stroke for months, during which time his wife, Edith Wilson, made most of the executive decisions. Despite Mrs. Mrs. Wilson's claim that she was acting as a steward, historians who analysed the Wilson term in office confirmed that for well over a year, Mrs. Wilson was effectively the president. Boom! I can't believe I've never heard of that before, but I mean, I guess I've never heard of it because as if they'd want people to know that women can, can, can do more than cooking. Okay, so another conspiracy theory that has been proven true was the CIA was testing... Sorry. Um, the conspiracy theory is the CIA was testing LSD and other hallucinogenic drugs on Americans in a top secret experiment on behavior modification. So that, that's interesting. The truth is the program was also known as MK Ultra and it was real. The CIA started using volunteers. Novelist Ken Kessie was one notable subject, but the program head soon began do dosing people without their knowledge and it left many of the victims permanently mentally disabled. That's pretty fucked up, isn't it? The shit that some governments get away with, man. Not cool. I mean, now that I've done... Now that I've made my eyebrows seem like they're still not friends. This one had a fight with that one. And then, you know, she slept with her boyfriend. And it's a time. It was a time. She'll never forgive her and they'll never be besties again. I'm going to put some colour on my face. A bit of bronzer. Bit of, bit of everywhere. And we'll continue with the conspiracies. So the next one is that big tobacco companies knew from the beginning that smoking causes cancer. Because it does. That's true. That's a true thing that happens. But anyway, they. Um, it, the truth is, in the beginning, in the 1950s, research was showing an indisputable statistical link between smoking and lung cancer. But it wasn't until the late 1990s that Philip Morris even admitted that smoking could cause cancer. The benefits of quitting smoking are huge. So if you do smoke, please consider quitting because your friends and family love you. Um, now we're going to do some blush. This is Napoleon Purtis, um Blush Patrol. And I'm just going to you know, do a little bit of... Oh, yep. Oh, so beautiful. Can't believe so pretty. Just blend that out because I don't look too crazy. Remember, I don't have a full foundation and I just have a baby cream. So you can still see my spots. Like this one. And that one. And then this freckle that I've had forever. Anyways. Moving on. Okay, now I'm going to put a little, little baby bit of eyeshadow on. I've got my brushes. I'm going to use this palette that doesn't have a name and I got forever ago in one of those, like, you know, your auntie gives it to you because you're new at makeup and she thinks this will be great, but it's just some, like, no-name brand 
10,000 palettes of these tiny things in it. Yeah, one of them. Cool. I'm going to use that one. It's pretty pigmented for like a potential piece of shit. Anyway, I'm just going to do a little bit. I just want a little bit of colour. I'm just going to blend it up to the eyebrow. I only use a little bit on my brush. Trying to keep it al natural, remember? I like to do pinks because my eyes are brown. Because if, and I, if I do browns, then I end up just going real hard and then being like, I've now got a smoky eye. Oops. Anyways, this one, the other side. And while I do that, I will tell you about the conspiracy theory I thought was the funniest and turned out to also be true, though. So that's kind of sad. Um, it's that Canada, the Canadian government, was so paranoid about homosexuality that it developed a gaydar to tell if people were homosexual or not. Anyway, the truth is, it really happened. In the 1960s, the government had a university professor develop a way to detect homosexuality in federal employees. He came up with a machine that measured pupil dilation in response to same-sex erotic imagery. And the Canadian government used it to fire more than 400, 400 men from the civil service and the military. That's pretty nuts. There you go, nice and light. Anyway, new brush, palette still. Which one? I'm going to use that one. Just to be a bit dangerous. See, this is my problem. Don't do it. I put the babiest bit on there, so it's fine. I just wanted to have a little bit more um, depth in my crease. That's all. How crazy is that Gator one? That seems unethical. And... I mean, the whole thing's pretty unfair, though. So. I think that's enough. I've got to put it down because otherwise we'll end up in a whole other world. Cool. Next, I'm going to do a little bit of highlighting. I've got my... Tiny brush and my favourite highlighter. If you've seen me before, you'll know that this is the highlighter that I can't get anymore. Anyways, just right in the corner here. Under the brow. And today, because I didn't use any other highlighters on my face, I'm just going to... Just give those lips a little bit of definition right in the middle because I can. Anyway, if you enjoyed this, the website that I did look at has got a few more conspiracy theories if you are interested in that that are true. I'll leave the link. I mean, they're, I mean maybe they're true. This is just what the website says. Anyways, I will put the link in the description below um, so that you can go and have a gaze by yourself. If you enjoyed this kind of video where I um, tell you about stuff like this, conspiracy theories, or I can do mysteries, murders, whatever you like. If you liked that, please leave me a comment below telling me to do more. If you didn't, then say, I don't know. Leave an octopus emo emoji. Like, awkward. I inked out of here. This is my natural look. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit, of, a little bit of our fave lino lips there on the, on the old lips we've got a little bit of definition we've got a little bit of color but we still got to do our mascara because i forgot about that we're going to use the nars nars um tester that i got all right i'm into that
amazing i'm pretty happy with this look well i mean it's what i do when i can't be bothered but i want to still do something normally i don't wear makeup at all unless i'm gonna go and do something or i'm gonna film a video or yeah i don't i don't even wear it to work anymore which i probably should but this is just an easy light look some nice neutrals pinks gives you a little bit of color but it's not crazy anyway peace